Uh, I'm fascinated with Fanatics and their sports betting, no doubt, Dustin, because I do think that outside of DraftKings and FanDuel, I, I think Fan Fanatics is going to have a great database when they get this whole thing going and running in a big way. I know they've made another hire. Uh, who, who did they hire to sort of help them out? And what is the latest with them? Yeah, I mean, the big news here is, uh, you know, it's, there's more of the macro of what's going on in Fanatics. They're hiring like infinity people for a sports book that isn't live yet. So we have, we've hit drips and drabs, you know, we've reported, like there's been reports, including by us about how they're getting into the sports betting market. You know, they have some market access, but we don't know what Fanatic Sportsbook is going to look like, but they, you know, they have hired some people here lately uh, to, to get to really take this up. Uh, somebody from FanDuel is, uh, again, well, heading up their retail operations uh, again we don't know where fanatics is going to have a have a retail sports book but they just hired somebody to be their vice president of retail operations so hmm. that means we're going to see some fanatic sports books somewhere uh one way or another uh we don't where and when don't know um but yeah they, they you look at their job listings on the site dozens and dozens of jobs for both online casino and sports betting um with you know and we're, we're still just kind of we're guessing at what their plans are where they're going to be in the market you know they're hiring a, a lot of smart people from both FanDuel and DraftKings uh, not maybe not a lot but the, the some some people I, I've known in the industry who are, are getting into this so you know this is this, you know we're getting serious and I mean like I'd, I'd say this means we're getting a lot closer to to a launch even though like they have to hire all these people but that like we're we got to be seeing fanatic sports book sometime whether that's they acquire a platform or they're, they're they've been building this on their own and they're really scaling it up right now i don't know but i'm with you like it's the the database of fanatics is super interesting tens of millions of users who buy who are engaged in sports you know buy, buy clothing from them or whatever else i mean the downside of that is is that how valuable is that database is the people are there people who who buy t-shirts and hats or whatever for fanatics are those people really engaged and want to, you know, uh, bet on sports. I don't know, but they have the sheer numbers in a database that, that make it super interesting uh, in terms of, of where they're going. Um, so yeah, you know, we, we, we've talked a lot about fanatics here and we write about a lot about them. LSR again, when they're, they're, they're the person who's in charge of that former FanDuel executive, uh, Matt King, um, in charge of their betting. So it's going to be serious. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, they're putting tons of money, tons of effort, tons of people behind their sports betting product. And what does it mean at the end of the day? Uh, we don't know, but there's a, you know, they, they clearly have major designs on the U S sports betting market. And I, I dare say they're not going to be happy with, uh, you know, being an officer and being a fifth or sixth, they, they would like to come in and own market share be major players in the market day one. And they think that that, like you said, that database uh, of users is what gets them there right away. Yeah, no, obviously they have so many people who buy gear from them and, and memorabilia and things of that nature. Do you think that they're waiting for California and Florida? Is that, is that where they want to start? Like, do they, I mean, they, they could definitely make a big impact in New York and New Jersey and some of these other States, but is it possible and I'm just speculating that they're waiting yeah. for one of the bigger, the next bigger states to be the the company in that state. I mean, is that a possibility? Yeah, that's the only reason why I can't yeah. figure out why they're not live. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they wanted to be in New York again. It's I think it's more product and the delivery of the actual fanatic sports book. Like mm -hmm. they, they are, again, we we don't know. We don't have a whole insight whether they think they're just buying something or they. It, it, it kind of you read tea leaves. Maybe they're just developing something already on their own, and that's what's that's what we're gonna see. But yeah, they 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 were in the bidding process for New York, even though they again they didn't have a product. Um, you yeah. know, they could get in New Jersey if they wanted to. They have put a lot of money behind this California sports betting effort that we talk a lot about. Um, they are one of the major don uh, people donating money, or not donating, but putting money behind Prop Twenty Seven, the, the the prop that would allow for online sports betting. So uh, you know, I'd say they they are putting a lot of efforts behind that and getting that market access. You know. You know We've talked talked on this show before about the, you know, the the market for LA sports and the rest and the rest of California. That's that that if you if you're going to launch into a market California with you know with an even playing field with everyone else, you kind of want to be in California. So they may yeah. they may just be waiting for that opportunity. That would be you know we get the ballot measure passed in you know that's just very speculative in November. Maybe Fanatics launches into California and they they announce their arrival that way. But, you know otherwise yeah they're they're going into markets that are already established. Um, or, or, or relatively small necessarily. Um, there's market access certainly in, in, in several big states, but no done deal that they could get into other states right today. But yeah, it could be California. Florida is, is further off probably. Texas, I would imagine they're, they're going to be, sure. they could be in and on the ground floor as well.